Well, we got the tractor back to the neighborhood. It's Massey Ferguson 35. I think it's about a 1956 or 57. Uh, 5100 hours on the clock. It's in pretty good condition. I can do a tune up on it, of course. And fix the stuff that needs to be fixed. I know it needs water pumps. It definitely needs lots of wiring work. So we'll do all that. Uh, really good back tires on the issue there. Uh, pretty decent fire stones. Uh, they match, which is another good thing. Uh, for my buddy there in the States, it's 12 4 28s. Front tires are pooched, absolutely rotted out. One headlight obviously taped in. We'll get that work done. Uh, lots of trash in the, in the grill. Front end's really nice and tight, so we'll just go through and do the wheel bearings and everything. So this is, we'll do the unloading, but came with a cultivator. That needs a little bit of work. And came with the uh, bush mower and uh, blade, it's a six foot blade. There's uh, equipment going by there now. So that's going to get parked and then we'll get this unloaded. We'll get it over to the house. Hi. So that's uh, that's where we are now. Uh, we'll just keep this rolling along until uh, we get somewhere. <laughs> Catch you later. Go down again. A little more. Yep. Good. A little Good. more. Good. Here we go. Well, I got Chad home. Yeah, so there he is. So we're gonna do an oil change on her. We're gonna do a tune-up. I don't know about you guys, but I'm not sure who the prime minister was when that cap went on, but I think it might be somebody's dad. Not too sure, but just maybe. Uh, we got it running good, decent. It needs a carburetor kit, so we're okay. So we're just running over and. Uh, Finishing everything can we got a name for it to Chad so Chad the tractor because it's just so damn good looking it is a Chad and uh, We fixed the uh, the sway the I don't know the sway chains whatever the hell they call them We got one fixed got some parts at the TSC so now I don't hit the tire no more. There's clearance Because we had the implement stuck in the tire when we were trying to get it off the trailer because somebody put the wrong size clasp on there so Yeah, the carburetor's a little doinked. Um, I gotta figure out how to set up the idle speed because the manual that I got, it's not right what they tell you to do. So I gotta figure that out. That's one thing on the list. Um, shifter boot. I took the worst one and changed it because the place only had one. I ordered it online from part source can so it was the eBay company that's that's in Canada in North York and they had the parts and they were here two days so I was quite happy I got an oil filter I got the shifter boot I got the distributor cap I got the rotor I got a set of points um, there's something else I can't remember what else there was I got that ordered because all the stuff on uh, Amazon was a bit much, but I had to get the second the second boot. It's coming on Amazon, but they come two to a pack, and I didn't even wouldn't have even thought to have looked on there first. So the next thing we're gonna do is get this oil filter out um, and move on from there. So we're just lubing stuff up. Everything's rusty. So you think it was? Uh, yeah. Well, it was sitting around a lot. Rad looks pretty good. She's full rate full of coolant. This tractor, I mean, the stains on the driveway is, is us being sloppy, but it doesn't leak nothing. So I'm quite amazed with it. Um, except for one tire, there's these special valves on there. i got to figure that out because I can't put air in this tire because the valve's not right. The Schrader portion of that tube doesn't work. So I kind of got to figure out how that works. I, don't, I never ran into those before. Because they are loaded tires, and I'm not sure whether we want to unload them or not because I don't want to rot the rims out. So if you guys got any comments um, or any ideas, please, you know, don't hesitate. 
to uh, to give me a, a blurb. Now, I think the generator is working. It's generating. The wiring's terrible. So I'm going to go through and redo all the wiring. Um, that's going to be my project for the week because uh, Jake will be on afternoons and I'll be sitting at home. So there's the uh, proof meter on her. And she's 5123.6 hours. It does have good oil pressure. I won't start it right now because there's no oil in it. But you can't really read the gauge. But it goes almost right over. The temp gauge I do not believe is working at all. So we'll replace that. Um, I'm going to add rear remote soon, but not right away to this guy here. This plate comes off, and the rear remotes go in its place. Uh, there's a brake spring that needs to be done for this side. Um, what else? What else? What else? What else? I think it needs a pressure washing, but I'm going to do that carefully because high pressure water and old tractors don't really go together that well. So I'm going to try to clean it as best as I can by scraping crap off and getting rid of it. I know the plug wires are relatively new. They're probably within 10 years old. So I'm going to leave them for now. I'll low melt the coil, see what it is, to see if I can get an identification on it. Um, I still got to go through some of the wiring. The headlight, I'm missing one OEM headlight. And kind of what I want to do is take the sealed beams out of it and put the headlight back to what it was but the one glamour ring's gone but I don't I have to take it apart and see what's going on in here because it's obviously being held in with tape right now but I want to get the lights working and we need a set of front tires those are uh, 616's they're, they're beat I don't even know how much air is in them I'm afraid to put any more air in them so there we are for now um, I got, like I said, I got to figure out that that Schrader valve thing on this. Maybe I'll go to the tire store tomorrow, or, or sorry, on Monday, because it's Saturday. Tomorrow is Sunday, and uh, we got to fix the hood, the latch. We got the latch; it was seized. We got it fixed, but there's there's one uh, one hinge is all bent, and the other half of it's cracked off. So we'll get the little welder out. You can see right in here there's the piece there that's supposed to be right here and this one's all mangled so we'll straighten that out get that welded um, we'll just play with it see what's going on we're gonna I'm gonna epoxy up the steering wheel a bit maybe to kind of give it some some love see if I can bring it back to life we're really happy with it Overall, for the money we got into this, we're stupid happy it's with competitive. it. It's competitive. Hard to, there's a couple of guys after it, so we're happy. So here we are, suburban farmer, obviously in suburbia. And that's one, we got the cultivator with it. Man, that thing looks way heavier than it looks. So we just got that set off to the side right now. We and got, then, like uh, I said, we got a few implements with us. We gotta try to get that on a trailer. I'm not We're sure yet. Getting some loose ends. Doesn't look like the guy who bought it did any field work work with it really. Cause the the uh, three point pitch system was all messed up. The light, the chains in the back were the wrong length, and it was allowing this arm to get higher. So we're just, we're, just, we're just doing some work on it. Got the top link unseized. Yeah, so we're just we're just gonna pick at this. And then we're hoping to get this out to the to the property in September, the farm. So we're gonna pull that and see if we can't jack that damaged sheet metal back out. So maybe I'll do a video on that. We'll see. We're gonna weld some washers on there and uh, come along and out. Come along and out. See if we can't use a come along to pull that down. Again, this valve here. I don't know what the deal is with that. You can't put air in it. This the other side looks like you can. Um, or there it is there so that you might be able to I don't know I'm going to find out we'll go to the tire store talk to the guys there and uh, see what we need because this one is low on air to be able to air it up and then it's time for wiring the wiring's absolute original and absolute trash so we'll go through all that and fix all the wiring try to get all the lights going again 
and see where that takes us. Because I'd really like to get the original lights back up and working, but if not, because it's got these cool wings. I mean, look at that. Uh, that just screams class. So, I want to keep the, the wings. needs the glamour ring for this one here. It's missing the brass or the, the chrome ring. So, we have to see what we can find. We, we vacuum the uh, grill out here in the front. We're going to pull the hood off in a bit. But. So, there we are. There it is home. We're gonna, it's going to stay here for a little bit while we work on it. We've got to change the oil and transmission. You can go ahead and let that down while it's buried in the driveway. And then uh, we'll get some better battery cables and fix some crap up. I got a plan for a boom that I want to build so it can lift. Uh, we'll make it like a cherry picker off the back of it. So we'll be working on that. She did, sink in a bit, eh? did she? Did she leave her mark? Yeah. Yeah, freaking asphalt driveways. It's crap. Where? A little divot start. You can just see it barely. Oh, okay, we're good. We're good. Not that bad, just barely. So there you are. TSE was a wonderful help today. That's Tractor Supply Company Canada. It's got obviously in the U.S. The U.S. is probably better because everything in there that we had, there wasn't much we of. We may end up be going into the U.S. for our TSC runs anyways. Yeah, because I don't think there's a TSC where we're going. It was in America, but... Uh, not, not, not near... Not here in our problems that we're heading to, so. which is bizarre, but. So, we'll finish cleaning out the rad. We're going to probably pull the front sheet metal off in a bit, see what's going on in there. Got to put the oil back in in case we got to move it. So, there you go. Uh, it's a rag oil filter canister style. Uh, they're good. I mean, they're not, you know, they're not spin on cartridges, I know, and they're a little messy. Yeah, yeah, yeah. But, you know. Whatever. We'll keep it on for now. And, uh, yeah, all the safety junk seems to work on it. Park and brake works. The brake joiner, so you join the two pedals, is all working. Um, what else? Neutral safety switch is working, so it doesn't start in gear. We checked all that stuff. Front suspension seems to be good. Front steering is really good. It's just a little play in one end. So right now everything it seems to be the one tire we gotta fill up with some little cosmetic rinky dink stuff. And uh the uh hydraulics seem to be okay. I'll put a pressure test on it. And the 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 lift works okay. So anyway, that's where we are for now. I thought I'd bring you guys up to date. I'll do a video up and get it for the suburban farmer on there i should say suburban farmers because jake's official now he's got a tractor and he's broke, yeah, I'm broke. so there you go uh, it just makes expensive lately we're just trying to start closing in on this property closing on the closing date and... yeah we shouldn't have bought the tractor i know all you guys built they're going oh why'd you buy a tractor for you're not even moved into property but when these deals come along and you save thousands or a thousand whatever when you save you got to jump on it you can't dick around and if something will catch wrong, we're wrong with those. We're get our money out of it. Yeah, there's no problem with getting our money out of this tractor. So that's why we decided to go ahead and do it. And it gives us something to do because we're bored as hell with no nothing else going on. So we're going to work on this and uh, we're going to make it special. Chad's going to be beautiful. I mean, he's already beautiful. I just look at it. This thing screams beautiful. And we'll get Chad finished. And, uh, yeah, Chad Ferguson, what do you know? Who knew? Anyway, don't forget, subscribe, ring the bell, check back often, and we'll show you what's going on with the Ferguson 35 Deluxe. And I believe it's a Deluxe because it has a two-stage two clutch. So if anybody has any insight on that, feel free to leave the comments. We'll talk to you real soon. Take care. Bye now. Yeah, I'm back again. Uh, I put the spark plugs in. Uh, did the oil change. Nothing too spectacular. Except the uh, oil plug here needs a new gasket. I have to order one of those. I cleaned the fuel bowl. You can see that's pretty clean. But it might be leaking a little bit. I'm not 100%. Sorry. Might be leaking a little bit. Um, 
we'll have to see. Let me take all that apart, not sure yet. Um, this lead here is for the capillary tube for the uh, heat indicator. There's an idea of the wire. And I'm gonna try and take carefully take all this apart and duplicate it so we'll see how it goes I know I'm going to switch over to um, to an alternator to get more power out I'm going to see the generators are known to be somewhat finicky and unstable so if I switch to an alternator we're going to buy we're going to break down and buy the one with the tack drive because Jake wants to keep the tack running on it which is okay so we'll probably switch over to that um is it going good? Yeah, as we move along, I think I'll do a couple other things, but uh, anyway, right now uh, the spark plugs are 7 8 so that was a bit different. And I'm taking out, uh, I think they're, what did I take out? Auto light 386s was what was in there. And I'm going to be putting in auto light three one one six. Sorry, the camera. It's hard to hard to remember to keep looking through the camera. So these are the ones that we're going to be putting in. These are these are nickel plated. Uh, I hope they're the right plugs. That's what it called for. They look pretty close. So we'll find out. I've always had good success with the Autolite, so we'll keep going with that. So I'll look up what 386 crosses to and see what we're at, what we're like. So this guy. There. Well, that's the plug in. Gotta be careful because this is just a regular socket and it's not for spark plugs and I don't want to snap them up. And I'm not going to bore you with show, videoing all the plugs being changed but yeah, I'll show you the condition. The condition of the plug there you can see all the soot all the soot build up I don't know if we're starting to lose light there you go people there you go friends look at there what I'll do is I'll keep a couple of these for spares just in case I break one or something goes wrong and then uh, we'll end up throwing them away that's what I usually do um, I mean look at that coil she's an antique and it still works so, I'm going to be doing some wiring, not a problem. Friends with these old tractors, I mean, you got to expect this stuff. I mean, these are a bargain. This is a 35 horsepower tractor. I'm scared to think it would be probably $40,000 to, to buy this new. So I think we, you know, you pay a couple grand for them, you do a little bit of work on them, and you can save yourself a, a you know, a pile of dough. And no, it doesn't have all the modern stuff on it, but I think this will do. It'll do just fine. We'll keep going over it and we'll keep finding it, everything as we go and keep fixing it. And we'll let you know how that's going. Um, but anyway, rad's full, no leaks. Like I said, I'm just flabbergasted how this thing doesn't have any leaks. And, you know, it's like not one of those things where you say, well, it doesn't leak because there's no, you know, just let all the oil out and then it stops leaking. It's none of that. Friends, this thing is just, you know, amazing. It says 5,000 on the clock. Uh, it's got a puke tube off the motor. She's not blowing by real hard or nothing. Um, so, yeah. I'm not sure. I hope I didn't screw up the focus on this. But, well, we got some white balance going on. We got all kinds of stuff. If I screwed this up, I'm really sorry, guys. Let's see what happens. I'll flip it around. Anyway, so there we go. We got the, uh, we got it fixed up. We got everything so far has been good. We haven't found anything that's been crazy or anything like that. Nothing, nothing that's uh, that you know that makes us regret the purchase. That's for sure. It takes you know he worked hard for this and this is what he wanted and 
This is his first tractor and I'm here helping him out on it. It's a father-son project, like so many, many, many others we've done. Uh, people who know us for real, they know, you know, what we do and how we do it. And anyway, that's the dinner bell. I'm going to take a break and then I'll finish this off and we'll fire it up again. Maybe shoot a little bit of video, see how it runs. I got to get a carburetor kit. I'm not going to lie to you, that carburetor's monkeyed up. I mean, it's working okay, but... I mean this this the uh, this carbon deal here. I mean that's the indicator she's running rich. So I'm gonna work on that, and we'll go from there. I got to make sure I don't have them. The only thing that might be possible is a little copper gasket that came with the filters, not right. So I might have to get a fiber gasket there. So I'll see how that goes. Uh, maybe I'll do some parts ordering and. Uh, get some more stuff anyway cheers and we'll see you in a bit Well, they said 450 in the book. Seems a little bit slow to me. Got a tiny little burble in the idle. Not sure if we're going to worry about it. Um, that fan extension piece is the most terrible thing I've ever seen. It's true on two ends and wobbles in the middle. So I'm not sure what's going on with that. What we're going to do with that. But we got the new plugs in. New points. Got everything. All that buttoned up. We're just running it now. It took me a while to find the idle screw behind the carburetor because it's so dark in there and it burnt my hand. So I gotta go to the hospital and get a new hand put on. So this one's done. And uh, she's all good. Got the air cleaner. Put the oil in the air cleaner? To the line? Yeah. Well, that's all done. Everything's good. Got good oil. That's oil pressure. Focus, focus. There it goes. Is that focus? That was cool. There you go. Yeah. So we're not lying. It would have gotten there, but it There we go. Stop. 